All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Sven and Alex video. Today, it's time for the Christmas challenge face-off. Merry Christmas! Woo! Yes. Christmas is a wonderful time of year. It's a time it's of people get... It's the most wonderful time of the year. Exactly, there's even a song to say so. Everyone gets together, you know, it's all about love, sharing, giving, Games. having a great time. That doesn't mean you can't be competitive, guys. Every year we have a quiz in our family household. It gets pretty It gets pretty riled up sometimes. There's, uh, people fall out. And lots of like different of opinions, and that's yeah. where things you know, start to go wrong. So we thought this year we'd bring it to YouTube. We'd take each other on a Christmas quiz face-off. The loser will just be a humbug, and the winner will have the most Christmas spirit. And also, I forgot to add, <laughs> the loser will have to do the washing up yeah, on Christmas so, Day. Yeah, so do you know how to wash up? Because you're doesn't matter, because I'm not going to lose. Yeah, you are. I know so much about Christmas. Let's do it then. Should we do it? Six rounds. By the end of it, we're going to know who the Christmas champion is. Starting off with a very cleverly named General Noelledge. Love it. See what I did there? General very good. Knowledge, knowledge. Noel. Let's go. We've prepared our own questions. I have my questions here. I had them here. And also, both cards have the name of the winner on them. Me. Um, what, don't get it changing? Spencer FC. Okay, let's do it. Just so a general knowledge. This is just general knowledge questions about Christmas. They're all Christmas themed. I'm going to have to take this hood off. I'm going to have to put it higher. And I'm getting hot. I, I, need to, I need to have good conditions for quizzes. Okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> Question number one, round one. General knowledge. Great title. Are you ready? Yes. Who is the main character in A Christmas Carol? Come on, that's a classic. I don't think I've ever seen that film. It's a book, first of all, oh. by Charles Dickens, <laughs> and it was turned into a film, you uncultured no, swine. No, I know that, but you've asked me who's the main character yeah. in the film. No, I said in A Christmas Carol. Oh, I think I know. I no, oh, I film. think I know this. Right, what's his or her name? I think it's, I think it's Scrooge. Is that easy in that one? I need the full name. No, I, I only know Scrooge. I need the first name. Michael Scrooge. No, it's Michael Scrooge. Scrooge. I'm joking. Like, I, it's Scrooge. I'm going to give, I'm gonna give you the point in the interest of Christmas spirit. Thank you. Uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, yeah. That name. rings the bell now. I'm going to give this one point to Alex. You got a general knowledge question for me? Yes. Which Christmas slogan was introduced by Clarissa Baldwin of Dogs Trust in 1978? Right, I, I literally could only think of one Christmas slogan and I thought that's not going to be it and then you said the word <laughs> dogs so I'm going to go with what I thought I mean how many Christmas, how many Christmas slogans, slogans are, there? are there? I'm going to say a dog is, what's it a dog is a dog is for life not for Christmas correct yes come on and that's very appropriate this time of year particularly now that we've got a dog we got so... I got your dog around Christmas last year yeah sort of, yeah. Sort of but it was actually for my birthday so no Okay, so after round one of general knowledge, it is one all. Lovely. Okay, can you see me under here? The next round's a great one. In fact, you might say, it's a cracker. It's Aye. round two, called It's a Cracker. We're gonna open Christmas crackers. There's gonna be a very bad, as you know, rubbish sort of dad joke inside there. The other person has to guess the punchline. Uh, you can go first, let's get a cracker. Oh, it's a cracker. So we're gonna pull this. Yeah, ready? Just it. Yes. Every time. Smashed it, and I've got a pack of cards, mate. Excellent. Right. So a Christmas hat. You want to wear that? Yep. How festive. I love this. Right. You ready for this? Not opening. It's not. Oh, it's you rubbish. You ripped it already. It's rubbish quality. So don't get your crackers from Sainsbury's, guys. <laughs> you ready? Maybe it's a little bit ripped, but we'll ignore that. What do you call a man with a spade on his head? Spade man. <laughs> Is that too obvious? Shovel. Shovel. Human. Shovel man. Shovel. Must be something Christmassy, surely. Spade man. Spade man, final <laughs> answer. Bro, I can't think of anything else you apart from spade. You going spade man? Yeah. The answer is Doug. No, that's actually that's really bad. It's not bad. That's a really bad. It's always joke gonna be a name. It's always gonna be a name, isn't it? It's gonna be not spade man, it's gonna be a name of a person. What do you call a man with a spade on his head? Doug. Oh I, I did uh, yeah, I suppose. Really, yeah, yeah, so you don't get a, yeah. you don't get a point for that. Let me just write this down here. No point for Alex. Your turn. Excellent. Let's do another cracker. It's a cracker. Go. I mean, how, how is that possible? How did you win? You had two hands. How I know. Do you want the hat? Uh, it's pink. Yeah, this is getting quite uncomfortable now, this reindeer thing. Right, ready? Do it. Here's your joke. How do you hire a horse? What? <laughs> how do you hire a horse? Yeah. Right, it's going to be something, a horse type word. So let's think, let's use logic here. It's going to be something like hay or stable or horse. How do you hire a horse? Pay. It's a very peculiar joke. 
I'll give you that. Did you say it's easy to get? No. Oh. <laughs> Have I got a bit unlucky here? A little bit. <laughs> Would you like me to tell you the answer? Who's I think... say with who's? Who's? Not really, no. Uh, I, I mean, really don't think I don't, get I'm going to say, um, give him some hay. Okay, so how do you hire a horse, spelt H-I-R-E, as in give him a job like hire someone? Yeah. Stand it on four bricks. So they're talking about H-I-G-H-E-R, uh, so it's hire. A, it's a pun. It's quite clever. Oh, that's for the educated intellectuals amongst us. Stand um, it on me. four bricks. Okay, terrible joke. As you expect from Crackers, zero points for either of us on that round. Let me just note that down. Can I just say something? For either of us. I wouldn't say that's a joke. That's not no. funny. Jokes would are supposed say, to be funny. Would you say it's a riddle? I would say it's a riddle. That is not a joke. It, say, it says joke. I can, I can verify it says joke on there. So it's false advertising from the Cracker Company. Again, don't yeah. buy from Sainsbury's. Yes, again, let down. <laughs> okay, you ready for round three? Yes. This one requires you to back yourself. Or you could say back yourself. Oh, you yourself. just keep bringing them up. I should write the crackers. You should. Okay, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to say a topic. We have to have a bidding war of oh. how many of that topic we think we can name. Okay. Whoever goes the highest bid will have to do it. If they do it, they get the point. If they the fail, it goes to the other person. Got it. You ready for the yes. first topic? So up for this. How many of Santa's reindeers yeah. can you name? Okay. Give me a number. Make a bid. Okay. Um, let me just confer with myself over here. You can't take too long doing it though. Okay. Yep. Three. You're going three? <laughs> I'm going to bid four. I can okay. Are you going to bid five? No. <laughs> I okay. actually don't think I can name three. No, it's on me to do four. If I get four, I've got it. So I brought up a list of them so I can see them in my eye line. He's not allowed to look at I'm them so look. I can verify as we go along. So I've got to get four. Yes. Obvious one is Rudolph. Yes. There's a few that I'm not sure on the pronunciation of, so I'm going to go. You have to get it exactly I'm going to go with right. the ones I definitely know. I'm pretty sure there's one called Cupid. Correct. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's one called Comet. Correct. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So you've done three so far. You I one think more. there's one called Blitzen, but I'm not 100%. It doesn't sound right. And I think there's one called Prancer. So I'm going to go with Prancer. My fourth one. Correct. Come on. Is Blitzen one as well? Yeah. Oh, baby. Can you name any more? Five. Uh, Come on, Sven! Come on! Cupid, Ray, uh, Rudolph, Blitzen, Prancer, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> I won that round, so 2 1 to me. Okay. Next, uh, back yourself, is Christmas films. Oh my god. They have to be a film that the other person has heard of. It's got to be Christmas themed. It doesn't have to all be around Christmas, it could just be happening during Christmas okay. or whatever. What's your bid? And also, what about sequels? Are we including those? Uh, I think one for each franchise. One for each franchise, yeah, one fra okay. Per franchise. Okay, so uh, quick. Shall I bid first this time? Yeah, go okay. on then. Let me think. I'm going to make an opening bid. I'm going to make an opening bid of four. Oh, you're going. Oh, that's so annoying because it's like quite low for me to go higher, but actually, I don't know if I can do it because I'm really bad at memory. Okay, I'll, I'll go for five. You're going to go five? Yeah. I'm going to go six. You are going to go six? Yeah. Do you want to go seven? All right, I'll go for seven. Okay, good Good on you, good on you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let you have seven. Okay. Go for it. Elf. Correct. Oh, I should have got eight. should have got eight. Home Alone. Yep. A Christmas Carol. <sighs> That's clever to be fair. Throw back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got four more, Mother Trucker. Yeah, I could do that. Four more Christmas films. Um, oh, I know. The Grinch. Nice shout. A White Christmas. What's that about? Who's that? What's that about? Who's in it? That's about Christmas, isn't it? It probably is and a film for that, but I, I can't tell you what it's about. I don't know right, it. So you can't have it. And uh, I think you're just saying a word that you think is a film. Ooh. Eh, eh. You're out. You've been wiped out. I can't think of any. You could have said Love Actually. Lo such a good film. My favourite. You could have said Jingle All the Way. No, I don't really know that one. Honest Sports Digger. It's a classic. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. You could have about. said oh. The Holiday. That's also a really good film. That, that would have taken me to seven. Okay, so there's only two rounds of Back Yourself, so it's now 3-1 to me, and we're going to move on to the next round. All right, okay. I've got this all day, every day. Next round is actually a round inspired by my show, Bench Warmers. Okay. Uh, we had an anagram-based round called Nagaram. This is a Christmas Nagaram. We've each been asked to prepare an anagram uh, Christmas themed. Yeah. The other person has to solve it. Okay, I've written down the anagram for Alex there so she can visually look at it because I think you need to visually look at anagrams. Uh, the anagram is E time lost. Can I look at it now? Yeah. E time lost. E time lost. Okay. E time lost. 
Oh, I think I know what this is. M I S T L mistletoe. Where? Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> is that correct? Right? Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, I got it right. Brilliant. I'm so proud of myself. Good to be fair. Write mine down for me, please, Governor. This is quite good. How I've like, done mine. All right, it's King's Cot. Clever. King's Cot. King, yeah. Well, Do you get it? I'm guessing it's something to do with Jesus. Well, I mean, he was a king, well, wasn't he? He was in a cot, sort of. Was yeah, a like he was manger, born in a manger. It? Right, anyway, that's the word. King's, King's cot. cot. What's the Christmassy word? King's cot. Sing. Sing is in there. Sing, Sing is in there. It leaves me with T O C K. I might have to rush you for an answer, I'm afraid. Yeah, I think you might. Sun. Sun. Got no. Got no. All no. those words are in that King's Sun. cot, but none are the correct word. Have I got you? Have um, I got the point? Sick. Have I won the round? Tony. Sick Tony. How did you know? Okay, do you want to know the answer? Yeah. It is stocking. Oh, man. Yeah, that it's a really good one. Good. And really also, good. the King's Cot thing, that was quite good to sell. Okay, fair play to you, Alex. That was actually decent from you. Uh, I don't get the point for that, which means it's 3-2 all to play for onto the next round. It's called... I, I didn't really come up with a, a Christmas pun for this one. Oh, well, you've let us all down now. Yeah, it's so... called... Um, Next lyric. We're each going to say a lyric from a famous Christmas song. The other person has to say the next lyric to get the point. Okay, should I go first? Yeah, do I'll it. give you a round. Okay, these are difficult, but they're all gettable. Okay. It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. This Christmas time. You've got to complete the rhyme. This is the first, da, 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 I think these are the opening da, 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 lyrics of the song. In the world, and da, da. <laughs> the final lyric is, it's Christmas time, there's no need to be afraid. Yeah. At Christmas time, uh, oh yeah. you let in light and you banish shade. I would never have been able to have got that. Come on. Do you think you would have got that 100%. one? 100%. Do you? I didn't. I never looked it up. Is that even the it. right answer? <laughs> yeah, it is. Trust me. Okay, fine. Your turn. I don't care about the presents. You see the way I, I had to do it like that. So this is... I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. And, and I, I don't... yes, I get that right. Yeah, you get that. That was quite easy. Classic. That That's like easy. the number one song. Okay, got one more. Okay. I don't think you're gonna get this one. I think it's it's a great song. It's one of my favourite Christmas songs. Right. But it's yeah, it's tricky. Is it I'm, not one of the classics? Is, it is, it is a classic, but the bit you've got to do is the easier lyric, if that okay. makes sense. This is the more complicated Thank God, bit. Because you gave me some really hard ones. The boys of the NYPD choir still singing Galway Bay. Any idea what song that's from? Sing it again. The boys of the NYPD choir still singing Galway Bay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. On Christmas, uh, it's that really, <laughs> it's that really drunk one. It's that one where they go crazy, like Fairy drunk. Tale of New York. And the boy, and the boys of New York, and the bells are ringing out on Christmas Day. I mean, the, the bells are ringing out on Christmas. <laughs> why are you saying it so out of tune? But you basically got Have it. I got it. Yeah, it's the, oh my it's, god! The boys of the NYPD choir are still singing Galway Bay, and the bells, bells are, are ringing, ringing out, out on Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Fair play. I'll give you a point. Yes, yeah, so, I'm so proud of myself for getting that one. That is decent. Right, are you ready? Always. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love <laughs> sent to me. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me something, something, something. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, something. I actually don't know any of them. You must know some of them. Partridge in a pear tree. Yeah. On the second day of Christmas, shall I go to me? Two. It's usually alliterative. Yeah. Pigs, five pigs dancing. That rings a bell. I'm, oh, I don't know. Don't know? No. Five Wait. golden oh, rings. Gold rings. No point for me. Okay, so after the next lyric round, it is four to me, three to Alex. Oh, I'm just training behind, but I think we, I can get to that. Okay, we're going to the final round. Okay. It is round two of general knowledge. We're finishing with another general knowledge round. I like general knowledge. General knowledge. Yes, yeah. thank you. Uh, you can go first this time. Okay. The scores on the doors are four, three. If you get it right, I have to get my right to win. Okay. Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean is a territory of which country? Mm -hmm. I think I know this one. It's in the Indian Ocean. Mm. I did do geography A level. Mm. Christmas Island is located in Australia. I think. <laughs> is it Australia? I was... Don't know why I bother. Yay! Did I do it? <laughs> yes. If I get yours right, I win. 
I win Christmas. If you get his mind right, I'm the you Grinch win. who steals Christmas. If you get it wrong, it's deadlock. By the end of which date should all Christmas decorations be removed? So as not to bring bad luck upon the house. Do you know I this? I think I know this. I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I've got... When you said it, something came to my head straight away, so I'm just going to say it. Right. January the 5th. Oh, Is it right? The 12th night of Christmas. Bam! 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 I get Christmas to keep forever! Yay! Yay! I'm not sharing any of my toys, and you've got to do the washing up. I've got to do the washing Christmas up. Christmas day. Day. Yeah! I love Christmas, Isn't don't you? Yeah. Like, well, this Christmas quiz was just like the best. I Let's love it so it, much. Let's face it, I might have run the quiz, but the real winner are the viewers at home. Oh, I thought you were going to say me. No, not you. <laughs> but you won because you get to go out with me. Oh, here we go. Anyway, guys, hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Look what are you after doing each for other. it? Where are you in the world? Leave us a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you soon. There's a lot of things to do there. Yeah, do them all. <laughs> uh, until next time, though, don't go changing. Bye. Merry Christmas.